Let's look at a group of personal items carried by U.S. Army infantrymen in World War II. Maxwell James was a railroad gang worker in Logan County, Ohio when the war started. He was inducted in February 1943 and assigned as an infantryman in the 114th Regiment. In September 1944 he was a heavy machine gunner fighting across northern Europe and the Rhineland. He carried this leather bag throughout the war to keep his various uniform accoutrements. It was important to keep these pieces together as conditions changed from one battle to another. Every soldier kept mementos of his wartime experiences. In this compartment are a few German coins PFC James gathered along the way. In this other compartment are a couple German badges, perhaps taken from an adversary. Also here are his service ribbons. PFC James carried to very important U.S. Army manuals through every campaign, as did most U.S. soldiers. The basic field manual was the soldier's quick reference to common military tasks and situations. It contained instructions on drill, weapons, discipline, land navigation, and most everything a soldier needed to know. Perhaps PFC James' most important manual was the First Aid for Soldiers manual. Though every company had a combat medic, each soldier was relied upon to medically treat wounds until help arrived. This manual could be quickly referenced to give proper first aid to the injured soldier. When the war ended in May 1945, PFC James and the 114th Infantry Regiment was still in sporadic action near Imst, Austria. He received this service record folder sometime upon his return home in 1945. In it is his complete service record summarizing his combat actions, awards, and training. Interestingly, there is a letter from the railroad with an offer to return to his civilian job once he was discharged from the Army. In this folder is his U.S. Army soldier's paybook. He was receiving $54 a month basic pay with an additional $10 as an expert infantryman. His service awards as well as a captured Luftwaffe service ribbon bar are attached to the center flap. Lastly is his tinted photo of PFC James taken prior to deployment. He returned to his job on the railroad gang and he never spoke about anything that happened during the war. Like so many U.S. soldiers, the war changed him forever. Never again would Maxwell James leave the state of Ohio.